First question is from DKZ All Day. What do you guys think about controlling a deadlift back to the ground versus dropping it? Great. Yeah, it's uh, so cool. All day? <laughs> the same, I had to add that for the bingo. The same yeah. thing that I would uh, say about any exercise, um, there's, there's pluses and minuses to either one, right? So when you look at like an Olympic lifter and they do their lifts and they, they explode, swing the weight up at the top, whether it's a snatch or a clean or whatever, and they drop the weight – what they're trying to do is they're trying to work on their explosive power. Dropping yeah. the weight, first off, reduces the, the potential damage on the muscles. They're not really interested in, in super fatiguing the muscles. They don't really care too much about bodybuilding. It's about yeah. improving their performance. It's less risky. It's less risky. So deadlifting up and then dropping the weight, you'll still build strength. You're going to get a little bit less muscle growth, just like you would from mm -hmm. you know not doing the negative portion of uh, any rep. I'm guilty of dropping oh. a, de a deadlift sometimes when I'm I hit. I'm probably like a the biggest offender. Really? Right here. Yeah. Well, well, you like the Olympic lift. Well, too. yeah, because and mainly like that was how I I, I learned, uh, you know, power cleans and everything else, and that's how I would deadlift was just to pick up the weight and then drop it because you know that risk factor is mm -hmm. always something to consider. But I liked uh, you, you know really pursuing more of that initial power and that that explosive output that I could uh, provide. Well, what you should do is you you obviously should not use the same weight, right? So I run I do this like in phases like we do in any of our programs. So if I have been, you know, lifting really heavy deadlifts and I've been dropping uh dropping the weight for some time, like then I'll switch it up and yep. reduce the weight to 50% and then really control the negative. So I just it's a I, I think for the for the average person, right? Somebody who is just trying to be healthy, strong, build a good physique, lose body fat, build muscle. Just <clears> overall. <throat> overall. Yeah. This belongs in your routine. You should absolutely this phase This is how you should mostly deadlift. Yeah, you yeah. should you should run a phase where you do a very controlled negative and and let the set the weight down. At least a phase if you don't always do it that way, mm -hmm. right? Because there's not tremendous value for somebody to be dropping and slamming slamming the weight especially if that you're not competing like if you're not competing to hit a, you know specific PR well even in powerlifting you if you don't bring the weight down you get disqualified you're yeah. not allowed to drop the weight yeah but you can you can drop it in your hands right you can let the weight fall you don't resist the weight down oh I know what your you body mean down hold the weight and yeah. go down with yeah that. yeah I mean yeah. you still quickly yeah you you're still kind of dropping it right sure, so sure. You're, I mean I, I this is what this person's asking to me is like resisting it on the way down yeah. right yeah. really slow like slowing the, like a four second yeah, negative four, like, yeah four I'll do a four tempo. second negative on a deadlift sometimes just to, to change up my my training it's much more bodybuilding uh, that way yeah, and that less, tears me up man. oh it will yeah. get, so effective it will get you it is I, i'll give you an example i will con i will relatively control a deadlift up into going up to about 400 pounds after 400 pounds i tend to I tend to drop i don't control a five plate deadlift the five plate deadlift for me so just to give you an example that's a hundred pound difference there's a big difference between dropping the weight and controlling it which one is going to build more muscle if i had to pick one it's obviously going to be controlling but if you do both and do them right, you're probably going to get better results. But I don't recommend dropping anything or going fast on anything on the mm. descent unless you're an Olympic lifter, advanced. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not really recommended. Or you're just having fun because it's pretty liberating. Yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, ah. if you watch like a – look, it's pretty telling, right? If you watch a – here's something you could do. Go on YouTube and watch Olympic lifters barbell squat. And then watch power lifters or bodybuilders uh, barbell squat. Yeah, very totally different. different. Very different. Olymp besides the bar placement, you know, Olympic lifters like to have a, a high bar and much more up upright posture. They drop fast. They so drop they fast. Bounce. So they can bounce back up. Yeah, they, and, and use that elastic energy. And that requires way more skill. Yeah. Way better control and yeah. way better stability. The average person drops high, down. High risk with that. You drop down fast in a squat. The average person, you are going to. Injure yourself. Yep. That's not something I would recommend to, to anybody. Which, again, building more muscle overall, always control the negative. The negative portion of a rep is just as important as the positive.